for less than one fourth of a cup of water in a bowl. I've got this yeast from a local shop nearby. Now add that in. I've added a teensy bit of sugar to the bowl so the yeast could chomp on it. Now as you can see the yeast starts to grow and bubbles starts to form. Get one cup of maida. Add a pinch of salt. Add a little bit of pepper. Now slowly incorporate the yeast mixture in. With your hands bring them all together while slowly adding the yeast mixture. This took around 5 minutes or so. It came to a consistency where it doesn't stick that much. Now it's ready. Ready to be pounded. Now all you have to do at this point is work that dough. Once you are done with it, you can try stretching it and you can see rays of light passing through it. It's almost miraculous. There you go. Grey is a very suspicious looking bowl. Add that dough in and cover it well. Now crack that egg and get those whites into the bowl. Safely keep away the yellows so you can use it at a later time. Something like an omelette perhaps. <laughs> Now beat those eggs. Beat them till they get cloudy. Add oil little by little while you still beat them. At some point you will see that those eggs are becoming thick. You got the right consistency when they are this thick. Into a bowl, add my special kajun spice mix, which is nothing but some red chilli powder, garlic powder, onion powder, some oregano and black pepper. It's done. It's time to bring my inner karate kid outside. Hmm. At this point I realized my fists are pretty useless. So I use my knife. Must be thinking why is this kid destroying that beautiful piece of chicken. Well, there's a science to it. I'm actually tenderizing the meat. Yep, I am. I really am. Inside a tip 101, it's really so that the chicken could cook fast. Take four plates. In one plate, I've added my corn flakes, which I've blended in my grinder. Another, I've added maida. The other bowl, some eggs with some curd blended in. Add seasoning. 
how much depends on your taste. As you can see, I've added the chicken into the maida first, then the egg mixture, then the cornflakes. This will make sure that the chicken has a nice thin layer of maida when cooked. And it will give it that extra crunchy edge it needs. When that's done, put that away. Take out your dough. Add maida into your workplace and gently and softly with your hands make them into small balls. Once it's done, put that aside and that's a wrap. In about 15 minutes when the dough has risen, coat it in maida and roll it out. Not too thin though, because if it's too thin then it won't rise when we heat it. Now heat up your tawa, add that pita bread in and let that rise. In about 30 to 40 seconds. Turn them over. For me personally, I love butter. So, hmm, obviously. I think that's about done. Take that out and put that one aside. In a pan of oil, deep fry that chicken. I use vegetable oil. For some reason, I'm not a fan of coconut oil because of the smell. I don't know if it's the same for you. Now, in a nice, very good looking board, add those pitas. Stack those chickens on top. Very gently put that sauce in. Man, who cares? Just pour that on top. Top that off with a little bit of kasturi mary, some basil, and some oregano. And voila! What you get is some nice pita slash naan type consistency bread some juicy delicious chicken and a nice and tangy sauce which all combines together to form the greatest and the most mouth-watering snack that you can ever make i present to you what i proudly call 